migraine treatment migraines can't be cured but your doctor can help you manage them so you get them less often and treat symptoms when they occur treatment can also help to make the migraines you have less severe your treatment plan depends on your age how often you have migraines the type of migraine you have how severe they are based on how long they last how much pain you have and how often they keep you from going to school or work whether they include nausea or vomiting as well as other symptoms other health conditions you may have and other medications you may take migraine remedies you can try a few things at home that may also help remedy the pain from your migraines lie down in a quiet dark room massage your scalp or temples place a cold cloth over your forehead or behind your neck many people also try herbal home remedies to relieve their migraine migraine medication medications can be used to either prevent a migraine from happening or treat it once it occurs you may be able to get relief with otc over the counter medication However, if OTC medication aren't effective, your doctor may decide to prescribe other medications. These options will be based on the severity of your migraines and any of your other health conditions. Medication options include both those for prevention and those for treatment during an attack. The frequent and recurring use of any kind of headache drugs can cause what's known as medication overuse headache also called as rebound headache persons with migraine are at higher risk of developing this complication migraine surgery there are a couple of surgical procedures that are used to treat migraine however they haven't been approved by the US food and drug administration that is the FDA the procedures include neurostimulation procedures during this procedure a surgeon inserts electrodes under your skin the electrodes deliver electrical stimulation to specific nerves and migraine trigger site decompression surgery that is MTSDS this surgical procedure involves releasing nerves around the head and face that may have a role as trigger sites for chronic migraines what causes migraines researchers haven't identified a definitive cause for migraines however they have found some contributing factors that can trigger the condition this includes changes in brain chemicals such as decrease in level of the brain chemical serotonin other factors that may trigger a migraine include bright lights severe heat or other extremes in weather dehydration changes in barometric pressure hormone changes in women such as estrogen and progesterone fluctuations during menstruation pregnancy or menopause excess stress loud sounds intense physical activity skipping meals changes in sleep patterns use of certain medications such as oral contraceptives or nitroglycerin unusual smells certain foods smoking alcohol use and traveling foods that trigger migraines certain foods or food ingredients may be more likely to trigger migraines than others these may include alcohol or caffeinated drinks food additives such as nitrates a preservative in cured meats aspartame and artificial sugar or monosodium glutamate that is msg tyramine which occurs naturally in some foods tyramine also increases when foods are fermented or aged this includes foods like some aged cheeses sauerkraut and soy sauce however on ongoing research is looking more closely at the rate of tyramine in migraines it may be a headache protector in some people rather than a trigger 
risk factors several factors make you more prone to having migraines including family history if you have a family member with migraines then you have a good chance of developing them too age migraines can begin at any age though the first often occurs during adolescence migraines tend to peak during your 30s and gradually become less severe and less frequent in the following decades sex women are three times more likely to have migraines hormonal changes for women who have migraines headaches might begin just before or shortly after onset of menstruation they might also change during pregnancy or menopause migraines generally improve after menopause thank you for watching watching guys i'll continue the remaining part in the next video please like and subscribe my channel for more such topics bye bye